Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Uh, today it's a whole lot warmer out here. We're having a heat wave. It's like 60 degrees. So I figured it would be a prime time to work on welding up this cast foot while it's nice and warm. Won't have to fight the temperature difference near as bad as when it's freezing cold out here. So I've got it off lathe. There's where it bolts up, and there's the two broken pieces. So, you can see it's machined on the top. Right here, so I want to try and keep that fairly flat. Well, it's probably not super critical. Uh, so I'll probably start at the bottom. And weld my way up. I want to tie it together because that just makes it more prone to cracking. So I'll just kind of fill it as I go and if I have to machine it when I'm finished, then that's just what it'll be. So I get this over the welder and do some grinding and fitting and see what it can come up with on getting this fixed. So you can see I've got the crack all ground out and got enough clearance there I should be able to get the welding rod in to burn that down in there nice. I'm probably going to run this hot hot. That's the other side. I got a big V out in the bottom. And I checked my center to center distance on these holes and it's correct still. I left kind of a land right in the middle that uh, hopefully will be enough that the arc penetration will finish going through, but it also keeps this straight and in line. So I'm gonna get this over to the welder and uh, See if I can't get it burned together. Well, I welded through from the back side to get it attached and lined. Now I've ground through down to the uh, material coming through from the other side, and I'm going to fill it back out from the outside and get to it better. Well, so, got the other side prepped up and ready to go. So I'm going to weld it out. Well, I'm gonna have to say it looks all right. I'm afraid my die grinder didn't, or a four and a half inch angle grinder didn't survive this job. It uh, bit the dust in the middle of it, so I wasn't able to clean this all the way up. But it looks pretty good. A little paint, and I don't know what you'd be able to tell it was ever broken from the outside. You can tell a little on the inside. I didn't clean the welds up in there. Nobody will ever see them. So, back in one piece. Didn't break off. And I managed to keep it fairly flat. And it looks to be in good alignment. I'd say that's as good as it is, good as it could get as far as keeping everything straight. I don't see a problem with that. Looks good. So I get it back over there underneath the lathe and I'll be ready to sit this thing down on the floor. Well actually I gotta cut some plates to make for the screws to sit on. So I guess that'll be next. There's my grinder. Send a line for that. Sit down the lights in here. So it's toast. This is a cheapo Porter cable. It's a, uh, oh, I guess it's ground a fair bit, but I wouldn't say a whole lot. 
I did the uh, radial drill with it. it. Was his first job, and it's done everything in the shop grinding since then. And some pretty heavy weldments like this. It's had a fair bit of grinding, but uh, it's not a daily use tool. So it's been what three years. So daily use, you might get a year out of one of these, and then it's time for another one. Power was plenty on it. I can't complain about that, but uh, the motor's toast, so it's trash for that. Well, there it is, back on in one piece. A little paint and you never even know it was broke. So, next up, I guess I need to get to uh, hydraulic jacks and a torch and see if I can't get this uh, chip pan back in reasonable shape and then after I do that I'll be able to sit this down on the floor finally and I got to cut up and make some pucks to sit the thing on but uh, that'll be a good solid job for while I'm cleaning well I hope you enjoyed getting to see that uh, how I go about getting that welded back together and fixed up should be a good solid repair I hit it with that hammer there in the floor and it didn't break off so that's a good sign and uh, making progress on this thing in typical Kentucky weather style. It's almost 60 degrees here now. It is in the shop because of the uh, heat being on the floor. The floor feels nice. Somebody can take a nap on it. But uh, went from this time last week, it was minus 10. And well, not this time of day, but anyway. Roughly seven days ago it was minus 10 and now it's 60 degrees, so that's the way it goes around here. Uh, fortunately, the added insulation and weather stripping and whatnot uh, I got in this winter certainly has seemed to reduce the amount of sweating that I had over last winter, so that's a good thing. And I got a bunch of new old stock switch parts and stuff ordered to get the traverse and coolant pump and stuff all functional back on the lathe. So I'm just waiting on them to come in and I'll start getting input on. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll catch y'all later.